This is a $10,000 electric hyper scooter, handmade in Korea. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Weephead Sonic X. 80 mile per hour scooter, built entirely from billeted aluminum. Every single piece was cut from a block of metal. It's got 13 inch tubeless wheels in the front and rear. Each wheel has its own massive motor. Each wheel has its own suspension. Even the kickstand has suspension. This is an 84 volt, 50 amp hour battery. That's insane. Motorcycle brakes on the front and rear. Motorcycle brake levers, beautiful pink fluid to match it up, ambient lights, headlights, a display we'll look at when I ride it. This is as crazy and beastly as a scooter can get. $10,000, you gotta ship it from Korea. I'm charging it up right now and check this out. Turn the light off. Boom! Full LGBT <laughs> lighting up on the front. Down here in the wheels along the sides and even the kickstand has a light on it. This scooter has an insane presence. It's like the cyber truck of scooters. And of course it's got headlight, blinkers, and the loudest horn ever. I can't even do it in here. There's one horn on this side and another horn on this side. I'll test that when we're outside. Now you already know I'm giving away my Ford Ranger with an E-Ride Pro SS, but there's only two weeks left to enter. I'm gonna miss this truck. If you think it's as cool as I do, I linked my giveaway down below, but entries close in two weeks. I don't usually wear motorcycle gear, but when I do, it's because I'm on a scooter. Thank you to Alpine Star for sending out the fit. We got motorcycle pants, jacket, boots, and gloves. The scooter's so powerful that they gave some advice on the thumb throttle. They said that you should never actually use it with your thumb. Now that, that's interesting, I didn't know that. They said you're actually supposed to put your thumb here and roll your thumb. And by rolling the thumb, you're pushing the thumb throttle more delicately. I'm gonna take that advice. <sighs> We're out. So, all right, before I go full throttle, I don't know where to select the power. I think it's just one power mode. There's no options. You do have a horn, which I'm going to test right now because I know it's loud. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a train horn. All right, here we go. Let's give it some throttle. Barely touching it. We're going 70 kilometers an hour. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. It feels so controlled. This thing weighs like more than a Suron and you can feel it, it's, it's grounded. This is the most solid I've ever felt on a Suron. I mean on, <laughs> on an electric scooter. Usually they're more squirrely. This feels like a, more like a motorcycle. We're going uphill 96 kilometers an hour. And you know what? I wouldn't mind even going faster. This is the fastest I've ever gone on a scooter, but it feels really good. Like, I feel like I could keep going. That was a little bit uphill, so let's see if we'll go faster downhill. So much space to stand on. Here we go, full throttle. 107, 108, 110. Shit. Wow. We're going 100 kilometers an hour. Turning isn't bad. This is the best feeling electric scooter I've ever ridden. I actually feel confident on this thing. But those are famous last words, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna act confident. Here we go, we're taking the turn, full throttle. I feel like a fucking 
truck, like a scooter truck. All right, let's use these brakes really quick. Feeling good. Oh, that's good braking. I like that. I'm shaking. <laughs> I need a second. Holy fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Who thought this would be a good idea? Whoa. I don't know if I would ever ride another scooter. That Not only is it looking cool and it's more powerful than every other scooter, but it's it's solid. Like, I actually feel comfortable on that for once. That's why I always wear gear on scooters. I always fall. I always fall on scooters. This thing's sick. I drained the battery a good amount. I started at 84 volts and now I'm down to 80 volts. And because it's saying it's at 84 volts when it's fully charged, I think it's a little misleading for them to call this an 84 volt scooter. That's 84 volt at its max when the nominal is 72 volts. So I would call this actually a 72 volt scooter. But when it's fully charged, it is 84 volts. But if we call this an 84 volt scooter, then we gotta call all my Surons a 84 volt Surons. So we're doing over 60 miles an hour there. We're in normal mode. I see there's a sport mode, but I can't find the button to change it. There's some buttons on the display. Not getting any service to Google it, so I'm gonna go ride to a better spot. Whoa, that's the shortest owner's manual I've ever seen. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, hey, what's up? It's Saron here. You got a second? Uh, I don't speak English. Damn, so he's saying that that's the full speed, and I just did the conversion 115 kilometers an hour to miles per hour at 70 miles an hour, which is fast. And that's close to 80 miles an hour, but that's not what it says on the website. We got clickbaited. The website says it does 80, but it does 70. Now you're still breaking almost every speed limit in the US. That includes highway speed limits going 70 miles an hour on this. <sighs> the website said 80. He said he's gonna change the website. Now that's not gonna put me down because 70 is still crazy. And I realized how to put it into miles per hour here on the display. So let's go. Let's go give it some juice. Here we go, full throttle. Yeah, no, the, the power is stupid on this thing. So we're going 65 miles an hour. Wow. I mean, this is a, this is a $10,000 scooter and uh, I gotta say, even though it goes 10 miles per hour slower than they claim on the website, it just feels like a $10,000 scooter. The power and the, oh my god, my, my helmet's flying back. <laughs> and the build quality, like the, the ride is super smooth. I feel very controlled and grounded. This doesn't feel like a scooter. Like I'm standing like I'm on a scooter, but it has the rideability of more of like an e-bike and I really mean that I feel like scooters usually they're they're because the bars are so high and all the weight is down low it feels super squirrely like the handlebars feel super squirrely but I don't feel that on this and I, I know there's a steering stabilizer I haven't adjusted it but I don't feel the need to even full throttle 65 miles an hour uphill I want to take this on the highway at some point <laughs> people would be looking at it like who the fuck is that this thing's fucking sick I'm gonna go get my uh, my buddy's reaction he just moved not far from here so I'm gonna pull up What's up? Thanks. Yo, nice place. This is a great spot. Thanks for having me over. Dude. This is sick. Beautiful cars, by the way. Isn't that crazy? So listen to the horn. Ready? Said it goes 100 miles an hour. Dude, that's crazy. You got the Raptor, Ducati, the Harley, the Pitters. 
Dude, this is such a cool setup. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.